Johnny again. This is part 10. Now, it's been a good five weeks since I looked at this. Uh, other things have got in the way, Christmas and all that jazz. And I thought I'd better get back, back to doing it. So what I've done in the meantime is I've added, I'm, uh, well, I've reorganized the code and basically what I've done is I've done the same thing as what Derek everything's in the way what uh, Derek um, Morris did in his book is that so here's his code and what he did he's got these game files so he's got a, ga um, a game file for the aliens one that controls the bullets, one that controls the game flow, the main, one that's the memory, one for the player and one for the stars. So what I did was I've done a similar thing. I think that's me, yeah. So I've got one for the, the bars, one for the flow, one for the lander and one for the memory. So, if, so I've created version 2 so this is version 2 and it's got the new uh, library files but not real library files just game files and I've in say for example the game bar this looks after updating the bars the bar indicator so the fuel indicator and the speed indicator on the screen the flow one looks after the flow and as you can see there's nothing in it yet because this is one thing we need to add. I've got one that specifically looks after all the lander specific code to so updating the graphic, testing the inputs and stuff like that. And then the memory one is just basically all the memory locations of all the where all the files are and initializer and uh, an updater. So just to show you what it's Currently, it's just showing that it's still working. Hopefully, I haven't looked at it for five weeks. <laughs> right, just waiting for it to uh, do its thing. Here we go. So there you go. So it's got the the bar in up here. The green the green bit is the where that that's the safe landing zone. And either side is bad and I need to we need to do something about that and as you can see as I'm pressing the thrust the thrust is going down but the thrust is going down pretty quick so I need to look at the maths on that okay, we're running out of fuel already look we're gonna run out gonna run out gonna run out and as you can see I haven't got a tester on the fuel yet We'll let that we'll let that crash so it should fall and then crash into the there we go so I've added the uh, bars in but I haven't done the check and I need to look at the I need to look at the the calculation for the fuel bar because it looks like it goes down pretty quick it looks like we've got a very small fuel tank when really we sh we've got to give enough but you got to remember right we're going to have different to different levels of difficulty so we can have different size fuels so we have so we can have a different ratio of fuel being used for different difficulties so it's good that we can modify it like that but the bad thing is that you know it's um if we get it wrong the game is virtually unplayable so, the 
thing that we need to do, well, the thing that I was going to do now was do what we've, what Derek Morris has done in his game code. Right, so in the flow here, here we go, so this is the flow. So he's got various states, yeah? So he's got the state for the menu, the state for when the uh, game is playing and you're alive, state for when you're dying, and a state for number of lives. And what happens is, when the code is running through, he's got a jump table here. So he's for each state, he's got a jump reference. So he initializes the flow here. So that's basically setting up that the, the game flow to start with. And then he's got um, a menu flow for I think this is when you die when you die that draws the menus waits for the fire draws some uh, more text and then resets the game code so it resets the lives resets the player sets the game state to be in a, a live mode and then jumps back so this is game flow update alive which basically doesn't do anything because if you're alive you just want it to go back round and go back round and go back round is dying so it does basically what we do oh thank you very much Microsoft for letting me know about that so it uh, oh, I've lost my train of thought now right so we test to see how many lives there are and if, he, if you've not run out of life so it's anything above zero or oh, not equal to zero then it carries on okay. but if it is zero then change it for up to be to in the menu state and then it carries on and jumps out and then the, when it code the when the prep when the game code runs through the, the flow again it comes to the uh, the menu stage and it's got some this is the flow update so you look you load the state find it from the jump tables load them into the zero page value and then jump to that zero page value location um, it's got some it's got scoring going on in the, the code in the the game flow code resetting of it resetting the lives um, has the player died has he got enough lives left do the high scoring um, and displaying all the right things so we're, we're going to do a similar sort of thing because I quite like the thing so we have to work out what sort of states we're going to have in this game code so we're so the obvious ones are so we're going to the states that we're going to have is um, So we're going to have in flight, which basically means we're flying. Um, um, dying. That's when we've hit the rocks and we need to make it do the explosion. Um, Uh, dead well that's going to be game menu in it game menu well dead game menu so you dead and it goes back to the whatever game menu we have uh, what are we what else are we gonna have um, So Derek had three, didn't he? He had three different states. That's me. So we had m menu, number of lives, number of lives. But that's not in there. He doesn't do that. So he has menu, alive, dying. So we should have the same sort of thing. So menu, dead in flight alive and dying <coughs> what else would we be doing so 
So you're in flight, everything's hunky dory. We hit the thing. If it's not in a safe place, then we're dying. Okay, we need another one called Lander. So when we land, hey presto, it does that. So when after die, so okay, so in flight, landed, dying, dead. Uh, what else? Do, 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 do. So we're not going to do the zoom in at the moment. That's going to be later on. We've got to work out the mechanics for that. So in flight. We'll go with that. We'll go with those three. So, in hours, let's go to the game flow. So we're going to have some constants. Um, now, do I put it in the memory? Have I put all the constants in the memory? No, that's just memory locations. I haven't got any constants in there, have I? Now they're all here. These are all the constants files. But they are... Oh, there we go. So, yeah, we can put it down here. So, game flow. And we're going to be in flight equals one. Game flow landed equals two. Game flow dying Three game flow dead <laughs> equals four. I will put another one game flow menu equals five. Right, the reason why I've split it out because you, we could have a thing for when you're dead, we you, you could have. You are the high scorer, please enter your name. And then from there, it would go to uh, the menu. So we'll split we'll split that out in terms of uh, operation. So, hmm, what did Derek do? He called it flow. Called it flow. Yeah, I think we'll do the same. Flow. Put an underscore in there as well. Flow. And we'll change the menu from being five to zero. Right, so in our code here, we do do some sort of game flow anyway. So we set it up, and this is our looper, yeah? So we do some testing here. So we could run our master game flow here, yeah? Because we jump to the death scene which is down the bottom and we don't we don't want to do that now because we want it to go th we want it to run through to the death scene because the death scene is actually dying isn't it so it goes back to game loop which is up here Collide with background. 
let's see here. G oh, look at that GLGB, huh? Oh, okay. Let's go back to the constants. Uh, memory. Won't call it flow. Where's constants now? Because I've used. Right, so instead of flow, we'll use, we'll use GF in capital so we know that this is a constant. GF. GF. So what is uh, so? Where's the game menu? Here we go. This is the main. So this is the looper. So he's calling game flow update, and he's doing it at the very end. All right, game flow up. Game flow update. So that's the initialization. So that's setting all the. That's the text and the high score, so we'll have to do that as well. So game flow update. Here we go. So he's loading the flow and then he's jumping to that zero place value. So when you're alive, you're just going up getting on with it. So he's returning back out. That means he's probably got the bullet testing for when something dies. Yeah, our game bullets collide. The game code's got the collision in it. Yeah, game plow update collision. So he's got the code in you know, JSR flow player dead died. Branch if not equal to collided. So he's doing the right, so we should do the same thing. set the um, state so this is basically our game player collided test but instead of jumping to the death scene we need to set the state So in the lander code, so that's update, update sprite position, collided with the scene, so that's there. So we do, we do the collided, did not collide. Problem is, Yeah, we need to set this. We need to set the games. We need to set the game flow state here to what it's doing right now. So we don't. Right, okay. Because this is doing basically the 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 the, the flow update. Thank you, Microsoft. Nice to know that you're looking after me. Right then. 
Let's get let's start coding this. Yeah, dear. Right. Right. GF. Update game flow. So we need right, we need to know. So how do you, have we got a game status variable, game memory? Thrust cost no we haven't. Right, so game status. So setup variables. So we need to LDA hash 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 hash. New keyboard, don't know where everything is. Game flow and in flight. Store in game status. So that's starting the game status. So in the game flow, we're going to go into here, so we're going to get game status. And then we're going to get. Right, so game flow uh, jump status jump table there we go so so this is going to be low and then we want one that's high Keyboard, new keyboard. Not got used to it yet. And my keys, my arrow keys are not working. That's better. Oh, the arrow's not working. Well, that's not good. Left and right. Oh, hang on. It's dinghy jumping. Have I got something locked on? No, it's not that. That's better. Stupid new keyboard. Right, store this in GF. Uh, what did I call it? Game status. Game status. Oh. oh, I'm loading the status. Right, blank. To load X with game status, and then we're going to LDA um, the GF status low. That needs to be high. Now, if we've copied, we should have some zero point zero page pointers, and we don't. Let's have a look in constants just to make sure. Here we go. So we'll use zero page low and zero page high. Zero page low and zero page high. So LDA, store it in zero page low. And LDA, GF status high. And store it in zero page high. And 
then we're going to do the jump to zero page bow. So that's basically how it's going to work. So, first one is status menu, because that's zero. And we'll just put a re re RTS there. GF status status uh, in flight. We'll put an RTS there. GF status. Uh, ooh, dying. RTS. GF status. Dead. And what else did we have? Is that I'm sure we had another one? In flight landed, we're missing landed, 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 landed. GF status landed. And RTS. So our jump table up here is gonna be like this. So byte less than GF status menu. Less than GF status in flight. Flight. GF dying. GF dead. Oh, I've mislanded again. GF. Status landed. So we'll copy this. Paste it into there. But this time we want the high byte. So I'll save that. Put a comment here. Rooting. Root. <laughs> Rooting routine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll make people laugh when they see it. Right, okay. So, in here, we're doing the collided. So, so we're testing for the collided in flight. And if it's in flight, so in here, when it's collided, we need to... So we need to test whether it's whether it's landed safely or not. Right. So we need to load. Game flow landed GF underscore landed and store it in game status. Yeah, because we, we need to check that they've landed so. We set collided to be true, to say it's been, it's collided, and that we need to go into the the landed, landed. Hmm. Oh. 
No. 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 John, you're being silly. John, you're being silly. That doesn't go there. That goes in in flight. So we test. So LD8. So we're testing the the collided. Yeah. So we're testing the collided. In fact, test all that lot. So in flight, we're testing whether it's collided. Yeah. So. Oh, I don't like it that far away. So we're test testing if it's in, f and if it's not. So it's no game, so we're going to say not collided. Right, so this will be not collided. Right, but if it is if it is collided, then at the moment we've only got the death scene. So we'll load hash gf underscore dying and then store it in the game status. So in flight we test for colliding and then we go into the death throws which is this. Death scene. So, copy this, we'll put that in the flow. So this is under dying. So dying is doing landed, branch if not equal to, so it's not finished yet. So not finished dying so we'll send it there because that's effectively doing the game loop and then if when we finish dying we load hashtag gf underscore dead and store it in the game status and then we'll copy this cut because this is going to be in dead Just make sure that looks right. So it does the lib, hold the fire, it goes to game, then it goes back to game start. Right. So that's the the re, that's the the refresh. Game start is the start. So we can do that, but we we jump in, we jump right with JSR into this game flow. So we can't just jump to the game start. We're going to have to pull off the stack the return address and then jump to game start. Game flow.
Right. So in here, we should now, we can now run this. So after the collide, So it's going back to the game looper here. Without doing that. Hmm. This is the game loop, but this is the game looper. All right, because we're bypassing this. We're bypassing this. Because we're only updating on certain frames. That's okay. That'll still work. Okay, so here... We want to do the JSR. To update the game flow. testing that in the game flow. Come here, we do the JF, we do the updater, and it'll return back. Death scene we don't need because now we've moved that. Because we've got it in there. Right. Let's see if we've broke this. We'll just assemble to memory first. JSR update game JF update game oh. oh. <laughs> Dork Game flow Dork Invalid. Okay, where's that? It's not in lib constants, is it? Yeah, it is. Am I importing lib constants? Thought I did. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, I am there. Yeah. 
zero page low, zero page high. Oh, hang on, did I put HI? Yes, I did. Hi. Low. Low. As Homer would say, do. Right. Looking good. We're on the second pass. Come on, there's the third. Right, assembles. So, let's run it. Come on. Let's see if we've broke it. <laughs> Knowing me, I probably have. Right then. Oh, it's coming down. Oh, 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 and they death still going. It's still updating. So we broke it. Right, okay, so the problem is it's going back through the game loop, so oh, pants. Right, we need to uh, So it's going through the game loop, so we need to, we still need this test at the top of the game loop to bypass the updates. So, so we need to test that. So if it's equal to false, then we bypass it and go to game looper. Right, let's try again. That should st <laughs> should stop. Oh, but it was pretty realistic. The, the, the explosion carried on going with the momentum. <laughs> but it didn't look good. Oh, well. See if this does it. it not false Come on. Down. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Boom. 
Hey! Right, does it restart? Let's see, because did I change the status to dead? Ah, oh, poo. I don't think I changed the status to dead, did I? So when it's dying... Oh, I did. Why didn't it reset? Did the flow? Does the sprite update, which it doesn't matter anyway, because the sprite update could be the the explosion. We're adding the we're doing the frame, so we might need to, might need to uh, game loop tracker. Where is that? All oh, right. Um, we might make that into a routine as well. Uh, so why didn't it do the men menu? Why? Because it's supposed to restart when you press the fire button. Where's the uh, lander? How do we test? JSR lib update. Oh, oh. We missing the the, the library read input, which is there. Yeah, we're missing it. Right. Okay. That would explain buckets. Right. So we need to update the input in GameFlow on here. Oh, it's doing it. So it's doing the lib update. Then we're testing for the game port fire. Oh. Ooh, okay. Let's um LDA hash dollar six. EXT call. Let's see if we can spot. Oh my god, 50 minutes! God, doesn't time fly when you're having fun? We'll see if it runs through, if it's running through this routine or not. Right, down we go. Come on. We want a different colour at the bottom. Where it's flashing white. Smack, dying, different colour. Have we got a different colour? I don't see one. Really?
Grand Shift North Key quarter dying. Okay, let's see if it's still running through the dying routine. Copy. Uh, let's put it there. So we'll make this two, which I think is red. Two. Oh, it doesn't tell me what character number it is. Okay, let's run it. Sorry guys, this is. Uh, didn't really want it to be an hour. Might spit. Well, when I'm editing, I might speed bits up. Oh, and I'm making silly mistakes. Okay, run. So down we go, down we go, down we go, down we go. Boom. I do not see a colour change. I don't see a colour change at all. Can't be that quick that it's not not even showing it. Ugh. Background color zero. Let's do that. Oops. That's not good. Let's change it to background colour zero. So it goes red and then that. That'll tell us. <laughs> right, let's go. Before I call this a video end, then I'll figure it out, out offline. Right, so it's dropping down, dropping down, dropping down, dropping down, dropping down. No colour changes. Really? Right, I'm going to take this offline and find out what's uh, what's going off. It should be, it should be doing it. I mean, it seems to be doing the dying routine. All right. Then. If you like this video, <laughs> which you might not, because it's 50 odd minutes long, click that like button. If you didn't like the video, fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment because I try and answer them all. And if you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a patron of mine. 
Plus all the money raised in Patreon go back into the channel. Right, I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.